Attention parents and students. Do you think that it's too early to start preparing for college? Absolutely not. Studies show that students who begin thinking about college and middle school are more likely to pursue higher education upon graduating from high school. To ensure you take every advantage of getting a head start on your education, we'd like to provide you with some resources and a more in-depth explanation of some words you'll be hearing a lot over the next few years. GPA, or grade point average, and class rank are two of the most vital components for college admission. GPA is determined through a compilation of courses in which a student earns credit. Student GPA starts being calculated during their freshman year in high school, or ninth grade, and continues through their senior year. All core classes, including mathematics, English, social studies, and science are used to calculate GPA. Some elective courses are also used in determining a student's GPA. GPA is a cumulative average that appears on each student's permanent academic record, also known as a transcript. Once GPAs are finalized, all students are ranked within their grade level, based off of their GPA. How students rank within their grade will determine whether they will be placed in the top 10% of their class. With this, it's important to maintain good grades throughout your high school career, not just during senior year. Now, we're going to break down the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. The PSAT is a preliminary SAT that is used to help students prepare for the SAT and determine qualification for some of the nation's most prestigious awards. According to the College Board, PSAT scores are used as an initial screening for entrance to the National Merit Scholarship Program and National Hispanic Merit Scholarship Program, which recognize outstanding academic achievement by U.S. high school students. The PSAT can be taken beginning in the 8th grade, establishing a standard against which to gauge and check on student progress, as well as pinpoint areas for intervention. Many students take the SAT in the spring of their 11th grade year and again in the fall of their 12th grade year. The SAT is more of an aptitude test, testing reasoning and verbal abilities and consists of critical reading, mathematics, and a writing test. ACT is an achievement test, measuring what a student has learned in school. It includes up to five components, English, mathematics, reading, science, and an optional writing test. Dual enrollment is a tuition waived program that allows high school students to take college courses and earn both college and high school credit. Students are now eligible to access dual credit courses as early as ninth grade. Courses are offered on the TSTC campus and on-site at participating high schools. As you can imagine, the dual enrollment program can save high school students and their parents a considerable amount of money in comparison to earning the same college credit as a traditional college student. Financial aid helps students and their families pay for college. This financial assistance covers educational expenses including tuition and fees, room and board, books and supplies, as well as transportation. There are several types of financial aid, including grants, scholarships, work-study, and loans. Financial aid awards may include a combination of the various types of aid. More than $238 billion in financial aid is available to help pay for college. Filing your federal financial aid application, known as the FAFSA, is the first step in applying for more than 90% of the available funds. Lastly, two- and four-year college opportunities are available for all types of degrees. As you can see, whichever degree plan you may choose can unlock doors of opportunity. Both two- and four-year degrees offer advantages to students throughout their lifetime, and by going to college, students can get better jobs, earn more money, and have a better start in life. It's never too early to start planning and preparing for your future. Preparing for college doesn't start once you graduate high school. It starts now. Together with Harlingen CISD, we can transform learning for global achievement. Remember, college and career readiness. Be informed, be prepared, and be ready.